Our energy's changing. The days are getting a little cooler, at least for a little bit. I know we're in the middle of fake fall. Um, but what kind of energy do you need today? How, what do we need to approach this with? Let's take a look at the cards and see what they have to say. I'm gonna do a single card pull for you, my cat and I, <laughs> and um, leave me your comments. Tell me what you think. Um, this card's gonna be from the River Witch Oracle. It's available on my website if you're interested. All, that, all those details are in the, the description. There she is. I'm sure you can hear her. That is Cha. Um, she is a rescue tabby who likes to, what is it called when you're sound? It's not a photo. I don't want to see the B word to have the algorithm mess me up. Uh, but anyway, we're going to pull a card today on um, positivity. And we're going to try to be positive in all of our aspects. Um, so let's pull our card. Our card today is Hurricane. So I'm going to hold that up so you can get a look at it. The Hurricane card has three words. Um, it's chaos, destruction, and rebirth. Um, <clears throat> it's very interesting. I focused on positivity. And the first two words in that would be something that would appear to be negative. Um, and I'm going to ask you to think about it in a different way. Um, so when we're looking at this card and we think about chaos, I'm sure a lot of you may immediately go to chaos magic. Um, you may go to... Um, you know, confusion. Um, you may go to things of a negative nature. But think about chaos in a way of organized chaos. And when I say that, I mean um, things happen for a reason and we can't control them. That reason sometimes is that we made a bad decision. I mean, um, I'm currently saddled with a plethora of uh, student loans because I made a poor decision, right? And I was reminded of that. Uh, you know, I was, I was in a position to where I was holding someone else accountable for my actions. I wanted to provide. And because of my desire to provide, I made a decision that was a poor financial decision. And um, I should have thought better for it and not led with my heart. So... When we think about um, chaos and we think about destruction, so that's the next word, destruction, we have to think about those things that come afterwards, right? So for example, a fire, right? Let's say a wildfire comes through. California is constantly struggling with wildfires um, or even a flood. You know, we had a flood here that took out um, my previous sanctuary from the Covenant of Hecate. Um, those things that come through, that destruction comes through and it breeds birth, okay? And that leads right into the third word, which is rebirth, right? It comes through, it wipes out what's there, and it, it revitalizes the area. Um, until man gets involved and starts mucking about, um, nature has a way of bringing about its change and its positivity through that destruction. So if we look at the land, for example, you know, examine the, um, the soil after a wildfire, it's actually more nutrient than it was before. Um, so when we think about these three words, this chaos, destruction, and rebirth, we want to look at what we're currently doing in our lives and what do we need to make that change. Now, I'm not saying that you need to go and create destruction. <laughs> what I am saying is that when negative things happen, right, look for that next step, that rebuild, that positive way. There's a message that you need to learn or take from it. Um, and that's our card for today. I'm going to hold it up for you again. And that's the Hurricane card from the River Witch Oracle. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this reading today. Um, if you have questions or if you want a specific reading, I certainly do take um, those commissions. You can leave me a comment in the chat or you can check out my website. Um, last, this past, yeah, or yesterday, actually, we just I just posted the, um, our latest vlog. It's about hair magic. Um, there should be something popping up for you to take a look at that. Um, feel free to have a look and give me some comments. I hope that you have a glorious day today and I'll speak with you soon.